Welcome to the Animal Crossing New Horizons Guide to May. This is the fifth in what is 12 videos to guide you into making the most out of every month of the year in Animal Crossing New Horizons. We'll discuss all the different creatures that can be caught, events that will happen, and birthdays that will be celebrated. Keep in mind that this video is being made in April of 2021 and there are plenty of updates to come that might introduce content that's not covered in this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. Starting on April 29th and running until May 7th is the May Day event. Over the course of these days, you can use a special ticket at the airport to participate in an exclusive island tour maze, featuring the character Rover. You can only do this once, but you're rewarded with bell vouchers and a picture of Rover for your completion of the event. Tour the gorgeous museum with the International Museum Day event. Blathers has set up various stamps to collect around all four exhibits of the museum that you can complete every day from May 18th to May 31st. Your rewards for finding all the stamps in each exhibit is a plaque for bugs, fish, fossils, and artwork. Children's Day in Japan takes place from April 28th to May 5th, and it comes with a couple of seasonal items as well, these being the newsprint helmet and the carp banner. In the city of Gloucester is an annual event where people chase a wheel of cheese down a hill. In tribute to this, Nintendo have added a double Gloucester cheese item for decorating your island between the days of May 22nd and May 31st. Throughout the entire month of May, you can pick up some carnations from Nook Shopping in celebration of Mother's Day. In older Animal Crossing games, you used to be able to plant carnations as actual flowers, but these are merely vanity, it seems. Don't be as much of a letdown as Nintendo is and get your mom something better for Mother's Day. The exact date is Sunday, May 9th. From April 20th to May 20th is Taurus season. If you manage to catch Celeste during this time period, she'll teach you the Taurus bathtub recipe shown here. And from May 21st to June 21st, you can use your Gemini Fragments to make a Gemini Closet also learned from Celeste during those dates. The following villagers all celebrate their birthday in the month of May in order from the 1st to the 31st. Clyde, Mint, Sylvia, Deirdre, Palo, Tank, Ozzy, Curlos, Bunny, Patty, Cherry, Ellie, Biscuit, Canberra, Leonardo, Ike, Gale, Pico, Olaf, T-Bone, June, Colton, Peggy, Deli, Derwin, Bruce, Del, Renee, Pearl, Hamlet, and Marcy. There are a total of 44 of the 80 collectible fish available in May, 8 new fish begin to spawn this month, and 3 fish will stop spawning after May is over. So let's first discuss the 3 fish leaving and then the 8 that will be spawning. As spring turns to summer, the loaches will start to disappear. Indeed, once May is over, you'll stop seeing these small river fish, but that's probably a relief though given how common they are. Opposite of that, though, is the very rare and very expensive golden trout. This can only be caught in elevated rivers on your island and will probably take a lot of bait in doing so. Make sure you get them now before they're gone because they won't be back until March of next year. The last fish leaving after May is the oarfish. It's a huge sized fish that you can access in oceans from December to May. Get it now before it's too late and hope you don't catch too many sea bass thinking it's one of these. Now let's talk about the fish that are arriving this month. Commonly found in ponds are frogs. These new catches are available all day to give to blathers for the museum. Or you can give it to your frog villagers to make them have an existential crisis. Also new to your ponds are catfish. They're available only in the evening to early morning hours, but are pretty common and should be available until October. The nibblefish is pretty uncommon and not very expensive, but check your rivers in the morning and pick one up to fill your critterpedia before September. Evening fishing, however, might net you an angelfish. It's another pretty uncommon fish, but it has a better selling price at least. The beautiful betta is available from May to October and is the third of four new river fish available this month. The last one being... The rainbow fish. They're the smallest size possible, so look for them in the mornings and you should be able to find one before too long. 
One of the two new pier fish available this month is the giant trevally. Bring lots of bait for this fish and don't mistake it for a sea bass. One of the rarest fish in this game, in my experience, is the mahi-mahi. I don't know why it's as rare as it is, but I've had more trouble with this fish than most. Still though, catch them to either donate or to sell for a decent profit. In the month of May, you can catch 43 of the 80 total bugs. There are 8 new bugs available this month, and only one bug is leaving. So, let's discuss these 9 bugs of interest, starting with the one that will be leaving. If you notice your tinnitus healing itself after the month of May, it may just be the mole cricket leaving. It's the only bug leaving this month, and once it's gone, it won't be back until November. The first of two butterflies that are returning is the Great Purple Emperor Butterfly. It's an uncommon butterfly that sells for a decent price, so pick one up near your flowers. The second butterfly is the Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Butterfly. It's hard to miss this giant butterfly, so catch one between the months of May to September. The Fast Moving Banded Dragonfly is back and a good source of income since their selling price is pretty good. If you can master snatching one of these out of the air, then donate one before October. On the surface of your rivers will be the Pond Skater. It can be hard to spot, but they will be pretty common. Keep an eye out in your waters for them, and if it's not a Pond Skater, then you might be seeing... A Diving Beetle. Now these are a lot easier to spot, but a bit less common. Pick one up before September to fill your Critterpedia. Two new beetles will start spawning on your tree stumps in May, the first being the Violin Beetle. It can be found all day and pretty easily with enough stumps on your island. The second tree stump beetle is the Rosalia Batessi Beetle. It's more rare than the Violin Beetle, but again, with enough stumps, it should come out before too long. Oh, if you thought you were safe now that the tarantulas have despawned, then sadly, you're not. Scorpions will begin running wild on your town and will continue to do so at night until October. Twenty-two deep sea creatures are available in May. That's five new ones from last month, but with three benthic creatures leaving, you have some work to do to complete your Critterpedia. Let's talk about the creatures leaving first and then the ones that will start spawning. Slow moving and easy to catch is the turban shell, but get one now or you'll have to wait until September for them to be available again. Probably the hardest catch that you'll need to get before the end of the month is the Umbrella Octopus. It's not very big, but don't let that fool you, it's fast and hard to catch as well. The last creature leaving this month is the Dunganess Crab. It's a medium difficulty catch and not incredibly common either. Get it now or you'll have to wait until November. New this month is the sea urchin. You'll be getting plenty of these if you enjoy deep sea diving because they're very common and easy to catch. Not so common though is the slate pencil urchin, which isn't hard to catch luckily, but you should get it before September if you want to complete your museum. Possibly the rarest deep sea catch in the entire game is the gigas giant clam. It's huge, fast, and very expensive if you can manage to haul one in. At 15,000 bells, it's tied for the most expensive creature in the game. Not as expensive, but still very valuable, is the Vampire Squid. This is another rare, hard-to-catch benthic creature that will prove worthy if you manage to get one. Lastly, the Spotted Garden Eel shouldn't give you too much trouble. From May to October, you can find this creature, and they're available all day as well. Thanks for watching the latest edition of my Animal Crossing Monthly Guide. If you're looking to catch up on previous months, then you can do so with the playlist that you see here. Thank you as well for 15,000 subscribers as of recording this video. I hope the support continues, and I will try to keep making the best content I can. Look for more Animal Crossing content on my Twitch channel over at twitch.tv slash dagnal, where I'm live six days a week at 2 p.m. Pacific slash 5 p.m. Eastern. But that's all for now. Have a good May, and see you again in June.